Hi, my name is Bryn Jones. I'm a senior at Renaissance. I was the creator and leader of the Music and Melodies Project where I worked alongside Sophie Harrington. My goal with this project was to examine the effects of music on senior citizens and try to create an intergenerational connections on Academy Park. The inspiration for this project is the immensely positive effect that music has had on my grandfather, who is currently struggling with dementia. Despite several obstacles, including COVID-19, I'm excited to share the majority of my project with you and explain what else we would have accomplished if not for the virus. Please enjoy. We have two main accomplishments as part of our three-tier program. The first accomplishment is our website, which Sophie created, that includes information about our project, the research behind our methodology, a sample of what our interviews looked like and the music that was included on it, and a how-to page for how to make your own playlists. The second tier of our project was our interview stage, which I mentioned before. We weren't able to really switch a lot of our interviews over to our website yet because we had only just finished with them when school was canceled for the rest of the year. We were lucky enough, however, to have the Senior Enrichment Center directly next to Renaissance and even more lucky that they were so helpful and collaborative in helping us to accomplish our project. We had two meeting times for the seniors to come in, have a conversation with, about music in their lives, and then we created a playlist for them. It usually took about one to two weeks to create all of the playlists. In total, we had 10 interviewees who used CDs and different streaming services to create their playlists, although we were prepared to make a cassette tape if need be. <laughs> I think that my favorite part about this was the variety of music in the playlists. There were definitely some common themes with some of the interviewees, a lot of Johnny Cash and the Beatles, but we also had a variety of classical, religious, country, jazz, and pop music, including everything from The Who to Billie Eilish. Also, the people that participated in our project were incredibly varied, from people who just loved music and it always had had an effect on them, to music teachers, performers, and writers. The third tier of our project, which unfortunately was not able to occur, was going to be the culmination of it. We were going to join with the Senior Enrichment Center and the United Way to throw a free senior citizen prom next door in early May as a way to make intergenerational connections in our community and also to examine the common themes of music that are in everyone's lives. Clearly, this part of the project was unable to happen, especially since we at Renaissance did not get to do our own prom, but I still feel confident in the work that we were able to achieve, and I hope that in the future, other groups of students take advantage of the collaborations that can occur intergenerationally and within our own community. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that you took the time and interest to see, at least on a smaller scale, the culmination of our project, even if it wasn't necessarily how we planned it. Thank you again.